Dim 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 dim, a shibby dim dim dim, booty dim dim. Welcome back to the Angry Buddha official. I am your host, Justin, and I have a review for you. I'm gonna put some no copyright, chill, lo fi, hip hop, jazz. Post genre, post genre. But I'm getting off of YouTube. So if you hear in the background, YouTube, don't kill me. I took it from your shit. I don't really feel jazzy. It feels more. Oh, yeah, it is a little bit. What? Yeah, check out this badass speaker. Let's sit her down. It's been a little while, a couple weeks. And, uh, beer, crap all over the place. Ha ha ha. Oh, how are y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all been doing? Oh, fall phone. Apparently, me moving around a lot has people falling asleep <laughs> while they're binging my videos. So, honestly, it makes me feel good that y'all can relax and listen to me talk and bore you to death. No, I'm just kidding. I know they were being really sweet when they said that. It, I don't know. They were just relaxing. Kind of like an ASMR thing. Which I appreciated the comment. <sighs> Also, uh, speaking of which, before we get this started, someone mentioned about my name being an oxymoron. They were just messing with me. And that's totally cool, because it was funny. I'm just uh, an overthinker. And um, anyway, so I uh, did want to re-mention just about like why it's called the Angry Buddha. Because Buddha is supposed to be like, you know, at least more happier than I am. Well, long story short, dabbled into Eastern philosophy and I found hmm, comfort, a little bit of comfort in the world. And after many years of being interested in like mythology, um, yes, I am an atheist. That's what I am. I am an atheist. Um, to be more blunt about it, I'm pretty much an atheist. Now, I, uh, I do... Uh, let's say atheist agnostic I don't know I believe in the possibility but that's as far as that goes and that's just what it is um, take it or leave it think of me differently it is what it is that's just how I feel I grew up in the south and instead of following the flock to me I just don't want to be involved with the Bible Belt and all that I'm just I'm really not into Abrahamic religions period but I also do I just, I'm not, I'm not a Christian. Um, no hate to anybody that's out there. I'm sure a majority of y'all are. Um, and I, maybe I shouldn't assume that, but also I get it. I mean, whatever, be whatever you're into. It's not a problem. I just don't want to be a part of it. I only want to be into the things that I'm into. But anyways, I have an interest in Norse mythology, uh, more paganish views. And I don't say that just because after saying Norse mythology and them being related, because a lot of people, when they hear the term pagan, I don't think they know what that is. Um, uh, and pagan isn't a religion or a spirituality. It's just pretty much anything that's not Christian. I mean, that's not what it is either, but it's more that than it is what I think people think it is. Um, but anyways, um, uh, also, um, but anyways, I dabbled into Eastern philosophy, got really into Buddhism and Hinduism. I think anything I, even though my name is what it is, I tend to, as more of a free spirituality, I just really like Hinduism. I wouldn't call it a religion. I'd call it more of a way of life. There is more of a, I guess you could say religion within it, uh, unlike Buddhism, which Buddhism is also more an actual way of life, but they branch off of each other, just like Judaism and Christianity do. But I'm not. So anyways, it's just my feeling of, the name kind of came from the thought of that I, I don't know. I feel very awake. I feel very aware. I'm not going to use the term woke. That's a totally different meaning. 
awake. When I say awake, I just feel like I'm very, um, and I'm not saying other people aren't, maybe you are too. I'm very, I feel like I'm very aware and understanding of my surroundings and the energy that flows through this earth. I'm not saying once again, I said I'm an atheist, but I could also say I'm an agnostic for the fact that I believe in the possibility of something greater than myself, but that doesn't mean that I am saying I'm right either. I'm not gonna acknowledge that anyone that thinks that is right, because I don't know. And I don't think that most people do know, but it's your world. So whatever you believe in, I feel like is right. Whatever heaven you're going to is the heaven you're going to. I'm not going to your hell just because I don't believe in it. I, I don't believe in it, so it doesn't exist to me in my world, in my realm. I don't believe in hell, so I'm not going to burn for eternity. Unfortunately, all the rapists and the pedophiles aren't going to either. I mean, I sure. Do I hope there's a place for someone like that or people like that? I don't know if I necessarily hope there's a place for anyone to go to a place like that. But I do believe in, I, like, you know, I like moral consequences for certain people. I mean, we are humans. I think that we all do have some type of level of understanding and like the way we should be kind of thinking and when i say way we should be thinking does not mean that there's a specific way we should be thinking i like diversity i like things that are different i'm born a southern boy but at the same time i'm a lot more liberal than most southern people so i don't know don't assume that i'm a cracker i'm gonna be backing your crack ass cracker ass up you know what i'm saying <laughs> I'm very diverse. I'm in a biracial family. So, I mean, or like, like you know, a bi family and, I mean, I have a biracial family. So, so my children and my wife are not uh, Caucasian like I am. Um, they're half and, you know, are in a mix of other things. It doesn't matter. But anyways, the point is, is um, anyways, I feel like I'm very awake and aware. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and seeing that knowledge, I feel like I know more than the average person does. And I'm not saying that you don't either. I'm not calling you average, but you might be. And that's fine. Uh, I like simplicity as well. Um, but I feel like I'm just very aware of things around me that shouldn't be going on in the world. And there's really nothing we can do about it. And sometimes, yeah, I'd rather be blind like the sheep and follow the flock of everyone else doing their things just going on with their happily go lucky life when the reality is its world is shit and it's fucked up and it could be nice yeah i have children i want it to be fucking nice for them but the truth is this world is fucked the world the u.s everything it's fucked people treat each other so shitty and i don't know it makes me mad so even though i know and i realize that in my opinion compassion and serving another human being and showing love to someone you don't know I feel like that's the kind of stuff that makes the world go around, but that's not what you're going to be seeing day to day for the most part. So in with that being said, the angry Buddha, I feel like I know a lot, but I mean, I'm pissed off about, you know, what's going on and I just don't. Um, so I'm aware, but I mean, I'm still mad and I'm going to show that anger. I'm going to release that. Uh, it needs to be released for me. Um, uh, I play a lot of jazz and hip-hop here, but I'm actually a true metalhead at heart, so. Um, uh, to saying, so there's a lot of aggression going on in this body. And uh, sure, I wish there wasn't. I wish I could mellow out. I've always wanted to be one of those people that could just be like, hmm, doesn't bother me. And for the most part, it doesn't, but it does. So, hence the angry Buddha. But there is an actual story about being an angry Buddha, which anybody can be a Buddha. Buddha is just someone that's the awakened one. Hence the angry Buddha. I'm the angry awakened one. I'm, a I'm awakened, but I'm angry about it because I know all the truth. The truth to the world. I know the truth. So that's where that comes from. We're nine minutes in. Let's get started with this review. So I will say, I'll give y'all a heads up. If you don't want to listen to me ramble, you'll want to fast forward nine minutes in. It's a little roughed up. But we have here. And this is going to be a quick review. The six photo. Medicated number six, six, six. Ugh. Anyway, so um, we are going to sniff some. Feeling better. I've been sick. Had a stomach bug. Even before that, I had just like coldish shit. So it's been awful. And then I took a week of sick leave off from my job which I'm probably going to be quitting soon. Yes. 
and gonna be looking for another job. Why? Because I'm already angry and a grumpy asshole. And this job's making me a grumpy asshole when I get home. I'm just being truthful. And I don't want to be that. I don't want to be grumpy. I don't want to be angry. God, this thing sucks. It keeps sliding the whole fucking video. If it does it again, we'll just move it somewhere else. This is some um, Retray's Wallace Flake. And it's already been kind of smoked on, so it's kind of nasty. I ain't gonna lie. Huh. Let's pop this open. We'll get into it. Still pretty fresh since I got it. Something about this uh, mint, menthol that's in here, it's just menthol. I don't know about any eucalyptus or anything else. It smells very medicine-y, so it could be camphor. It just smells very menthol, mentholated, but in a very pharmaceutical way. It smells like someone broke some Vicks at the Walgreens. But however, it is a lovely menthol smell. And it's got this piney scent kind of wafting in the background. And I don't really smell that right now outside the tin, but I just know that every time I sniff this, that's what I think of. So let's take a little pinch of Ruski out of here. Wow, cleans up. Do I smell cat? It smells kind of like cat. Cat, menthol, cat, and pine. I mean, it kind of smells like that friend that has a cat. And I didn't mean to you other people that own cats. I'm talking about that one friend. So maybe not that one friend. That one friend that's like, you know, 76 years old. And you go over there to, you know, move something for her. And then you feel like, I gotta use the bathroom. So you go in your bathroom, it smells like Vicks and cat and pine trees. <laughs> no, I'm actually being completely comical. I mean, this has a, like I said, it's pretty simple. It's like this pharmaceutical kind of Vicks mint smell, which I do appreciate. Um, the cat thing really wasn't a lie, but I don't think it smells like cat. And um, the, the, the pininess, maybe it be herbal or something herbal, not piney, goes really well with this. And honestly, I think this is a great menthol it, for a very plain menthol or simple menthol. I'm not a big mentholated fan, but to me, I feel like this hits you and it's very cooling. I feel really cooling around the rim, but not too much to where it's gonna dry everything out. Now, I know that if I take too much of this, I will get dried out. I'm already dealing with a dry nostril, so I'm not gonna take too much. But would I say this is an easy snuff to do? Yes. Um, maybe not necessarily a beginner. It'll be quite menthol, mentholated to you. But do I think it's hard to take? No. Do I think the nicotine is super intense? No. I think that you could take a bunch and even for a beginner, you're just going to get more of that menthol than you are really even nicotine. But it really is a nice snuff. Um, is it the crystals OG? No. But I mean, it's... It's nice, I like it. This is enough for me. I don't need any more than this because I'm not gonna sniff that much menthol anyway. So for me, this is nice. Um, the cooling effect inside the nose is one of my biggest like things I think I like about this snuff because I like that sensation. I think I've said before, menthol is, not more, of a is more of a sensation to me than it is a smell. Not that I don't smell the mint Sometimes it's not that dominant. It's just more just like, here's some menthol. I don't know. And I don't get to appreciate the tobacco, but that's just me. Um, anyways, great snuff, Six Photo medicated. Thank you, Six Photo. Um, I'll be trying Temple Car. I don't know if that's Six Photo. I don't think it is, but Indian snuffs in general, 
um, kind of hit and miss for me. So hopefully this will be good. Um, I did order some Temple Car and I ordered some Toke Artisan JP and I ordered a hundred grams of it. So, oh, I also got some Sir Walter Scott Lundy. Um, I got that as well. So Walter Scott, Temple Cart, and Artisan JP is coming up soon. It's on its way. I can't tell you when it will be here, but in the next week or two, hopefully sooner than than three. <laughs> um, hopefully you'll be here. I'm very excited, like I said. Um, uh, yeah, so look forward to that. Um, where is, I don't have a, yes I do. Yeah, I'm blowing this out. <laughs> um, so, uh, I just really been enjoying my high dry toast, but I, I wanted to give you all another review. I feel like the older I get, the bigger this honker is getting. But why do I feel like I can't sniff more snuff in it? It's getting bigger, but I still can't sniff more snuff. <laughs> Since I didn't overdo it too, I feel like my nose is really open right now from that menthol, even though the menthol's not in there anymore. It's fantastic. Anyways, let's get this over with. Maybe I'll come back and just do a little chat. Um, maybe I should have did that first before the review. So peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed it. That was six photo medicated number six, 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 mark of the beast.